Good football teams have to win in November. That's what team captain RJ Fitzgerald said on Monday this week as Montana State focuses in on their final stretch of games to close out the regular season, a road that could lead them to their first Big Sky Conference championship since 2012. That journey, of course, starts this Saturday as the Bobcats head down south to Flagstaff for a game against Northern Arizona. For most of our guys, it's the first time they will have played in the, the Sky Dome and um, you know, it's a, a new a new, new venue is always uh, brings its own challenges. The last time Montana State made the more than 900 mile trek to NAU was in 2017, a location where the Bobcats haven't seen much success. The program has not only lost three straight inside the walk up Sky Dome, but are four of 18 overall in that building. It's pretty loud and their fans are right on top of you. I, I think that's one of the things where uh, I vividly remember is the fans were like right on top of you and, and saying stuff. So it's going to be one of those things that's going to be a tough place to play, tough environment. And, you know, I, I know they're going to be rowdy and ready to go. And as cliche as it sounds, that's why Montana State isn't overlooking the Lumberjacks 3-5 and five record. A big reason why is because even though the injury bug has been biting NAU's locker room since week one, the team still has several playmakers on the field, including last year's Big Sky Freshman of the Year, RJ Martinez. I think he's athletic enough to extend plays and you know athletic enough to make some plays with his feet if he chooses to pull it down so he's certainly what drives them I think offensively they're pretty lopsided with their passing yards versus their running yards at this point so how he goes is certainly a you know a driving force for him. And with such a pass-heavy offense, Montana State is excited to finally get Rylan Orr back in their secondary, who missed an extra three games due to issues in his reinstatement process. As we've talked about before, Rylan was our starter out of spring. It doesn't discredit Reddy and Kendrick, who have played in front of him, but you know we feel that uh, Rylan will will allow our defense to you know, take a step forward. As far as NAU's defense goes, their secondary has Montana State's full attention, which is led by Morgan Best, an all-conference selection and team leader in tackles. We've positioned ourselves well, but at the end of the day, it, it doesn't really matter how you position yourself. It, it matters what you do moving forward, and, you know, good football teams have to win in November. You know, every team's trying to finish out the season strong, so obviously we're just going to have to, you know, go out there every single week and, you know, just play our hardest and play the best of our ability. Montana State at Northern Arizona kicks off Saturday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time, a game you'll be able to catch right here on the Montana Television Network. In Bozeman, Ashley Washburn, MTN Sports.